And now for our feature presentation. No stone is unturned when you tune into Just Toy Talking Too Much. Just Toy Talking Too Much. We talking sex, marriage, relationships, prejudice, politics. Girl. Your rights, my rights, the way that I see it, the way how we talk, when we talk real talk. And that's the double truth. Mm -hmm. Say, people, you talk too much. And if you're talking, you can't be listening. But you need to be listening to Just Toy Talking Too Much. Get it? Let's get it started. Just Toy Talking Too Much. And that's the triple truth, Ruth. Good morning. This is Just Toy Talking Too Much at www.justtoytalkingthenumber2much.com. And this is what I call one of my Just Toy Talking Too Much edgy, witty, raw, and candid rants of expression. I got up all weekend expecting a wonderful wonderful day you know what i mean it started off great and then it got rocky because i had the wrong addy in my gps system and i ended up being late so already in my head i'm like what you gonna say what you gonna do so you know because you're like six minutes late for this interview so if you've seen a previous video and i have this on this is what happened because i did the video before i actually the first video before i actually came into this one anyways um of course, I'm a, I'm a woman who wants to improve my finances until all of my entrepreneurial endeavors increase in finances because whatever you set your hands to do, she'll prosper and you have to sow your seeds and you walk by faith and you walk not by sight. And faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen and whatever you put out in the universe so a man think it so is he so i'm i'm having all i'm listening to les brown i'm i'm listening to all these motivating things all week and i'm encouraging myself and when i tell you that i was having a bad week i'm fighting depression i am you know i'm i, I feel like i'm pmsing i'm sad i want to go see my family i don't feel like i feel like my life's falling apart no matter Everything great that I've been doing towards just toy talking too much and other endeavors that I am setting my hands to do. So I go on this interview this morning and I walk in. As soon as I walk in, there's a young lady walking out. And she says to me, she says, is CS Business Solutions? And I said, yes. And so things didn't start coming, coming together because as I was calling the toll-free 800 number to, you know, like I'm running late and, you know, um, my GPS is off. Like, you know, how can I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. Uh, the lady, when I get here, the ladies, the young lady's walking out and she's saying, no, she was like, they want you to sell insurance. I was like, sell insurance. This job said for a recruiter, a, a coordinating recruiter, this is going to increase. It's just me. My children are grown. I don't have any grandchildren. And so I'm like, okay, I'm about to get into a better position. Now I'm going to be able to invest in um, my other endeavors and I'll have this extra money. I can pay off some bills. I can increase my finances. I'm in here and as soon as I get to the front and I ask the lady, what is the position for? She doesn't tell me. I asked her, I said, well, I received an email saying that this was for a, a recruiter coordinating position. And she says, oh, I won't know until you go in. Now it says CS Business Solutions, but it said, actually when I got in here, it said JL or JI, that's just how flustered I am. I can't even remember or A1AL agency, insurance agency. It does not say for the people that sent me the email what this position was for. And when I called the number to say that I would be running late, it said that it, it was sent right to voicemail. So I should have known then, I should have known. However, my rant is all of these employers, all of these, uh, these companies that are lying and saying that it is this and the position is not that it is 180 degrees something else 
it is not you're not applying for an administrative assistant position you are applying to a customer service position to stand in Walmart and sell direct TV I mean I have been on so I have been on four job interviews that said one thing I have executive employment or experience and my, my past employee employment leads me to be an executive in the senior in you in the seniority aspect so do you think that all these years that I've put in and all this knowledge that I've gained I'm going to I'm going to sell insurance on commission I'm not saying it's a bad job but you said coordinating recruiter coordinator that's what the position was. And you said what the salary was. And you said what the bonuses were. And you said what the perks were. In the email, in the job description, you did not say that I would be selling insurance on commission. So I'm perturbed, peeved, and pissed off at all of the many companies and businesses that paint a pretty picture of a position that you have experience for and once you get to the interview it is something else so I feel as if here I come dressed in my finery it's nippy outside so I got my wrap on you done insulted me. leaving my jacket in the car because the door is right there and I'm face beat for the gods a light beat Smelling good, feeling good, looking good, edges laid down, the whole nine. And I come up in here, and you want me to sell insurance on commission, but you said this was a recruiter coordinator position. And I got to kick your ass right now. That and part. Afterwards, I don't want no hard feelings either.